Hey everyone, today we're going to speak about the Washington quarters that Philadelphia and Denver struck. I mean, look into the mintage, current value, the most expensive and common specimens that have ever been sold at auction. The 1981 P. Washington quarter is still available for withdrawal from circulation and is quite prevalent in circulated grades. According to PCGS's Jamie Hernandez, it is available in rolls or mint sets in uncirculated grades and is typical up to roughly MS-65 grade. Instances in MIS-66. Although they are significantly more difficult, hundreds of samples are still available and are worth almost to $50 in MIS-67 requirements. With fewer than a few dozen known, they are difficult to find. Anything regarding MIS-67 classification is extremely uncommon and can increase your wealth. $4,000. PC has only recently reported two instances to miss so far a 67 plus grade. Denver versions are widely available in circulation only in miss because the mean stock more than 500,000 samples. 67 and above. At mid stage 67, they are regarded as rare. Additionally, they are now valued more than $11,125. This quarter at stage 67, one of the most expensive specimens ever sold on eBay went for $700. The 1981 Mistake Quarter is now significantly more valuable than 1981D25 cents, high mint state condition quarters with flip over double striking errors. A striking double struck mint mistake. The lower rivers were partially indented by the first hit. The second blow came from this piece and the river style collide once more. Both impressions make the date and meat mark apparent, although the second impression is noticeably sharper in the date region. A piece with satin and nickel silver that is remarkably well preserved. On August 15th, 2024, Luster sold. Also in high demand are 70 faulty planchette mistakes for $200. For instance, a 1981 P. Washington quarter minted on a nickel planche that measures 64 and weighs 5 grams was negotiated at tax authorities for just under $300.